<laughs> Here we are at Mount Olympus. Got some uh, fun stuff to do today. We did do a lot of fun stuff. This was originally intended to be just one video, but for practicality's sake, I split it up into two parts. This first part will focus on the daily maintenance that is required to open Medusa, the Western Hemisphere's only slide wheel from Whitewater. Part two, which should come out soon, will cover Hades, a new road, and Mount Olympus's creative shop. Thanks again to everyone at Mount Olympus for making this possible, including Maria, Fofo, and Paul, along with everyone else who gave us pointers and showed us around. Enjoy the video. The, like steam coming off the water over there. In terms of maintenance or in terms of startup operation, it starts right there mm -hmm. where the tubes are. So we ensure the tubes are filled because that eliminates a lot of uh, issues throughout the day. Mm -hmm. So there's a, we figured out a, 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 a pressure that's ideal for the conveyor. Got it. So um, if it's not, let's say it's too hard or it's too soft, it triggers sensors on the conveyor that, you know, yeah. in turn gives us errors. It doesn't work as good. So that's where it usually starts. Gotcha. Yeah, it's a it's a really cool conveyor belt system where it yeah. like flips it over yeah. and yeah. makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah. A lot of sensors. Yeah. yeah. I mean this was what, like a twenty two million dollar ride too? Yeah, like it's a it's a very it's imposing and it looks fantastic from out there. So I lost a little bit of footage here. Basically, we just climbed up this first ladder and one of the maintenance guys is now talking to us how they have to fill up all the drive tires every morning with compressed nitrogen. I got it. Okay, so this nozzle, we have to come around to the tires. Um, it's not turned the way it's supposed to right now because the valve should be in here. Got it. But when we send them to do it, they put it on the wrong way, so... <laughs> yes. You gotta reach around, yeah. Put it on. And then is that like compressed nitrogen or...? Yes. Gotcha. Okay, so 145, 7, that's good. And we do both tires like that on each side. Gotcha. You have to make sure you check all those safety features, make sure all nuts and bolts are good, you know, you check the center bolts. Mm -hmm. You mark them to make sure that they're in the right position. And you just visually look at everything and see that everything is good up here, you know. This motor, you have two on each, one on each tire. Big gotta, motor. Gotta, oh, there's even more motors over yes, here, dang. Yes, you have to inspect all of this, make sure everything is, is good. Yeah. Same thing with this tire out here, so I'm not going to check the pressure now. Mm -hmm. But everything looks good out there. Perfect. You normally know, you know just do a visual on it, you know, because any, any bolts not missing, then we have to replace it. And we have a regular maintenance where we just go on it and tighten everything, turn it, tighten everything. Wow. It takes a long time to get it <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we go up further. Controls our electricity because it has its own power to run out here, mm -hmm. and our internet coming I mean, from this box here feeds inside because we can't use the internet for the building for it also. So gotcha. this, I think it's running about 480 watt. Um, we can touch it, but uh, <laughs> if, it's, if it's on, avoid it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> And um, yeah, you're gonna make sure all these trips are okay, they're not broken. You have to see if there's rust in anywhere to clean them off. And uh, visually look at just look at all of these things. Um, this, you have to make sure that it's in the groove. And this, to make sure that it's okay, because this is what drives the power. Yeah. And all these trips right here, you have to make sure they're in the groove in here. And, all of them is there, top and bottom. Yeah, making good contact. Right. 
this is another one of the, the boxes for the internet. And all of this is like this is um you have a some guides to the side of this, so we have to check every day inside here to make sure that they're there and they're not oh, exactly yeah, touching that. on it because that's gonna be too much friction. Yeah. So we have to like really be quick about this sometimes because so much things to look at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All this is an everyday maintenance. That's crazy. Um, over here. This is the box. Uh, controls, cameras, lightings, the you know, there, oh, everything's uh, going to need some just leave it right here. <laughs> yeah, and that rotates with the rest. Of, so yes. this whole thing rotates yes. around us. Yes. Wow. That box does a lot of backflips. <laughs> yes. yes. Man, and you got your the show lights are all controlled through all this too. Yes. Cool. Such an impressive structure. It is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Awesome. So the, the other side um, is more simple. It doesn't have this. It's just. Just the wheels, yeah. You know, axle control. Yeah, I can see the, the torque striping on here and then right. just so many bolts. Right. So, you have to go around that probably three, four times a year, just, you know, get the lift, comes up, yeah. start tightening up, checking, because some of them are not going to move. Like you see, with Martin, mm -hmm. these haven't been moved from... When it was like, installed, yeah. yeah. But there is some that you check and it mm -hmm. want to go a little bit more, so you have to make sure it's the right torque and you're safe. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. That's really cool. I, I love the like giant grounding yeah. things and then this is where, so that's where the slide goes from static to rotating. Yes. So then probably a lot of water drips down here. Just um, Sometimes, uh, but we have a mat inside that um, you, it's under the, the end of the slide right there. Oh. So it, it catches the water and sends it down. So oh, if, that's if, super if cool. If the mat is not in, um, in place the way it's supposed to, then the water will run on that. But if we try to pull it out every morning. Got it. Yes. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And then you've got a nice, very well built snow cover. <laughs> yes. And then these are to like adjust the tension, yes. just like up against the wheel. Man, like this is like sturdy, oh, sturdy, oh, yeah. sturdy. <laughs> Man, do you have any questions? Oh, this is just cool. <laughs> it's just really cool. Just cool. Yeah. I love this slide. So. Yeah, it's, I mean, you can see all the, what are all those for? All the show lights? Uh, that's cameras and lights. Wow. That's a lot of so, wiring. So the strips, the strips on the, on the, the, the slide, the wrong lights are right here, the ones on the ground. Yeah. So then, does it always park in this exact spot at night so you can get to yes. this? It's, Got it. So we have to start at this point because we have a... A rod for lightning. Oh. In a certain position, so. Oh, interesting. It's up there, that strip right there on the purple section right there. Oh, yeah. And if it's not in this position when you're ready to start it, it tells you. So you it yells to, at you, yeah. You have to calibrate it. To this exact spot. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Getting some light tests in. Nice. Yeah, and we're pretty high off the ground here too. Yes, this is not are. a not a small ride. I think it's what 70 feet tall total. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. This certainly feels like 35. <laughs> cool. Yeah, maybe 40. It's I don't know. 40, yeah. This is scary. This is scarier than any roller coaster for me. Yeah, and me too, honestly. I can see how nervous you are. Yeah, this is. I would not have done this maybe five years ago. It was the ice of the spirit on it. 
and sweep it off. Oh. You're, you're, you're cold, but you, you're out here sweeping ice off this. Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> It's like sand. Sand. Yes, it's, it's pretty. That's super it's cool. Not rip on the tires there, so. Yeah. That's why we try to get the ice off because the ice is going to make it slide so it won't go to your hands. So. Yeah. That's really cool. So at that point, you have to have one person over there, one here, use remote to turn it and sweep it. Yeah, and just try to get off as much ice as you can. And to avoid that, we normally leave it running for the night. It's not turned on in water. Oh. It's in a rotation called show mode. Gotcha. And just keep turning for the night. Got it. To keep the ice from forming. Mm. Man. <laughs> I mean, like, I, we've climbed, climbed up pretty big coasters, and this structure is just, it's significant. It's huge. It's a lot of weight. I, oh, yes. Do you know how much this is, just, like, I'm, I'm rotating? Not, I'm not sure how much ton it is, but... <laughs> Lots of tons. <laughs> you know, stopping it, it takes a couple minutes when you try to stop it. Oh, yeah. Let's see, how much... I'm trying to see how many kilowatts it is. Mm. Just kilowatts, 11 kilowatts? That's a lot of kilowatts. And you have, so, you have the two drives on this side and then the two on the other side over there? Okay. And then it rotates which direction, this way? Uh, so, from, it, from that way, it goes clockwise. Okay, so it goes this way, gotcha. Man. Super cool. And then your water's fed in. The water, like, it comes in in bursts, right? Because you put it in when a ride goes in and then you stop the water because it'll keep spinning, or do you just kind of let it run and no, then... It, the, the water keeps running. And then it's just kind of the way that it's built, it kind of right. so, so regulates the, the it. So the pump's in the basement, uh, the motor's in the basement, and um, push the water up mm -hmm. to the top here and in the middle. Right. So it just keeps flowing right through. The water keeps going at all times. Gotcha. Look at that pin. <laughs> nice and greasy. Yes, yes, because we have to grease uh, Absolutely. The top, uh, all the wheels up there. Yeah. Every month. Every month. Yes. So you're gonna have grease coming down and a lot of different things. And this thing runs like every day, right? Like there's never yes. really. Um, unless we have any maintenance issues uh, where we have to shut it down to replace something, which is very rare. Yeah. Then it runs every day. Because you guys don't do annual maintenance on this at this point, it just kind of keeps going. Uh, our, our maintenance uh, on it is mostly in the mornings. Like, yeah. we'll have like checking the nuts and bolts. Mm -hmm. We'll be doing that for like a month and we do it every month. Like, and just kind of pace it out. Yeah. Like, and then start it up, run it. Gotcha. I mean, that's really impressive, you know, having this thing run. It, a lot of, a lot of have, hours on it. We have a few times where we shut it down for like a few days. Yeah. And just fix or replace something and then that's it. It's really pretty too. Like the color scheme just, yes. it pops, that's for sure. Hopefully when they redo Highway 12, the, all the power lines will be gone too. <laughs> so it's actually, yeah, you, you can see it. A better view. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. All right. Oh, the these pistons, are they... Is that fed from that cylinder down there then? You have a specific pressure that uh, you have to put in there? Well, yes, it's, it's, it's right from, from, from the, the box down there and these boxes here. So this is supposed to lift the, the arm, to yeah. take the tire off if you want to replace it. Gotcha. Or fix it, anything like that. Yeah, uh, they're very chunky cylinders. Yes, we just use a remote or the computer to move it. it oh, down. cool. Oh boy. I gotta do it again. Another one. Another one. This one's not as high though. No. So, from here, normally we check on the ground in the morning to see if there is any nuts and bolts. And once you don't see any, you know that it's, it's okay. Mm -hmm. If you see any, then you gotta check it. Go up Which there and find it, yeah. We stand, we stand down here, use a remote to turn it, and just look to see if you can see anything missing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you do see if you gotta get a lift, bring over here, and go up to replace that one. Yeah. It does come pretty low down here, like you can just... Yes. <laughs> but then those are the LED strips. Yes. Those look super nice. This is, oh, this is where the water pipes come, so you yeah, guys... So we cover it because we didn't want them to freeze. Yeah, that makes sense. It gets uh, cold down in here. Yeah. 
Yeah, and then those are the emergency escape hatches. So that, yeah, this is probably like the spot that you'd come to get to like... Yes, if, if for instance, uh, it's not turning, mm -hmm. like you try to turn to the remote and it doesn't turn, mm -hmm. then you could do that. Yeah, that's actually a lot lower to the ground than I was expecting, and you can probably get your lift in here. If, I'm, if I have to go inside when people is there, I basically have to walk out of that. Oh. That section right there. Oh. And then do you just like shout down the tube to tell them the, well, what's going on? Or? On a normal basis, when you turn it, they would come to that section right there in the blue. Oh, okay. And it's it's kind of a little ditch. Yeah. So you have to help them to get over that because it's Got in the neck it. right there. It's a little bit higher, so the tube won't go over unless there's water pushing it down. Right. And even if it past the section and there's no water in the tube it's hard to come down so that's why I'm going to help the people to get out yeah just to make sure they don't fall or anything like that yeah absolutely I like how you guys had the the full slide wheel and then you're like you know what let's still make it extra <laughs> long you know more enjoyment for the ride absolutely <laughs> I mean that's the best part about this ride I think it, it lasts like three minutes yes yeah. and so many water slides take and it's high capacity too you can get a lot of tubes in there and I'm sure everyone loves this. Alright, I'll probably start with the emergency hatch. Okay. The safety first, right? Absolutely. Question I asked when, when when we knew we were gonna have this ride. Yeah. How are we gonna get people off if it stops? Yeah. This is one of them, as you can see. That there are five, uh, actually six of them, and they're all numbered. Mm -hmm. So let's say this was on the bottom. Whatever is closest to the ground, that's the one we open. Yeah. We go and usually, if it's the lower section, they're gonna be in this one mm -hmm. because gravity. So. Yeah. Um, and then that lift that's always on site. It, it has to be there for this to run. It yeah. has to be in position um, so we can get to customers, uh, you know, ASAP. Yeah. And there's mm -hmm. one on each color. So this is just the same thing, um, except we don't have drive wheels on this side. Right. You know, so. And it's a little bit simpler because there aren't the slip rings. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And of course, this, this tube that you come, come out in it has like a, a slip ring kind of design mm -hmm. on the inside. So, you know, you flow straight into a fat tube. Yeah, so the water. Yeah, and the water too. And of course you can see where the, the you know, there's some water that gets through the seam mm -hmm. and that comes, that's piped down through there. Yeah, that's, so. that's interesting. Might as well just run it back right into the, Yeah. does it just go straight back into the ride or does it have to it like goes back down into, into the filtration drain. system? Gotcha. Yeah. Yep. It's impressive this th that this thing can run in like the winter too. Yeah. Just oh yeah. I mean, <clears throat> there's some degree of uh, it's a little bit harder, but once you know it's gonna like we don't stop it in the winter time. Right. You know that's your enemy. You don't want to you know stop it because then snow forms on it, and then you know with how uh, the physics of things, if it's unbalanced or it's gonna run different, mm -hmm. you know it's gonna cause errors stuff like that. So you keep it running, then nothing sticks to it. It doesn't stay on, yeah. you know. So yeah, that's and then what the water said. is heated. Like we gotta have a lot of water heaters. So <laughs> I'm sure a lot of that money for the ride went into water heaters. Yep, yep, yep. Definitely a impressive volume to heat and fill yep. up, and yep. Yep. and especially it's coming outside and going back inside. Mm -hmm. you know, so you gotta really heat the water. Yeah. Yep. It's an amazing design. Actually, we had to build a model before oh. um, this was actually done. And I was one of the guys that did the mechanical part of it. So like motors, the wheels that drive the model. And it was, it took some figuring out. <laughs> yeah. Because you know? you're just, you know, they tell you how it works and then you got to build something based on that. You know? mm -hmm. And then you see it and you're like, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean like the positioning on the boulevard too is just like perfect. Yep. I don't think you guys could have gone any closer. Yep, yep. And it's, uh, it's, uh, that's why you got engineers, you know? <laughs> you 
pre-plan that stuff. Cut it as close as you yep. can, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and then you have the cameras on the inside just to kind of watch see and make sure everybody's at. See where yep. everybody is. Yep. And that's another thing, like you want to ensure that's working all the time. Mm -hmm. So, and I don't know if he explained it to you, it's kind of like a wireless signal that connects it because you think about it, the cameras are inside. Mm -hmm. You can't, you, you, you could technically use the slip rings to connect it, but you want a more solid connection. So it's used uh, wireless to connect it. Yeah, that's a, well, actually at Great America, um, there's the dark ride. So mm -hmm. then they have, they do the wireless connection with the leaky coax and then Wi-Fi okay. as well. Yep. So yep. that's, yep. that's, yep. it's, it's not running, you know, camera data, which it's really cool that this does. Yeah. From what I saw when they did this, this whole chunk mm -hmm. was a section by itself. Yeah. So from there where you see that black cable yep. to here, that was a whole chunk and that was, gotcha. you know, put it. Plop it down in there. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Cause they actually ran, so the company that built um, you know assembled it mm -hmm. they brought it to the parking lot and then once the pieces were ready to go on they brought it to war shop mm -hmm. checked it over ensure there was no burrs no rough spots all that stuff all the bolt holes were you know properly aligned mm -hmm. and then it was partially assembled and then brought out here got it so I, that's similar how they did Icarus where they put like four or five pieces together and then brought it yeah, all up with yeah, the crane. Yeah, that, that was amazing. Like the, the day when we were putting that together, yeah. we were out here, me and my boss, we were kind of taking bets on how they were going to do it. Uh -huh. that, that was crazy. It was, it was crazy to me huge... when they built like half the section yep. off to the yep. side and then lifted it up. Yep, yep. And that, 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 that was kind of smart that they did Man. that way. And then that way, when they got to do the top, they brought a huge crane in and mm -hmm. they brought that in just once. Just one time. Yeah, yeah. just one time, prop it on, tighten it, done. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, you guys are really a showcase of Whitewater's yep. craziest, yes. <laughs> craziest yes. rides. Yes. 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 It's such a... It's awesome. And you learn so much on the job. Like for me, like you go to school for engineering for like four years and you do all the theory. Mm -hmm. And then you come here to Mount Olympus and then some engineer, group of engineers come together and they build something and you're like, oh shit. Getting that hands-on stuff is so, so important. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And. It's cool to have. It opens your mind because it's not just what you see. No, it's what it, it, it opens your mind so you can think more, you mm -hmm. know. So you see little bits of engineering marvels and you're like, maybe you could use this and do mm -hmm. it this way, you know. Instead Absolutely. Of, you know, so. Yeah. So, yeah. It's a very, very cool. One of the things that um, when, when I looked at it, I was like, okay, so you got a steel structure. It's wrong. You're going to press a uh, rubber tire against it firmly but there's gonna still be some slip mm -hmm. and then I didn't think that they would put this uh, abrasive layer over it okay okay yeah they okay. thought of that <laughs> yeah, they thought of that you know? no that I mean it, it feels like really hard sandpaper yeah. it's I mean it makes sense especially here mm -hmm. where you're you might actually have ice on it he told us yes. about the de-icing process yes. but yeah. still it's nice to have a nice tractive surface yeah. And then the other thing too is, like I built stuff in AutoCAD. Mm -hmm. So let's say you draw this right up in AutoCAD, you have your drawings and everything. Stuff's gonna be a little bit off, you know? And then I'm like, okay, how are they gonna attach the plastic or the, 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 the right fiberglass, itself, the yeah. fiberglass to the metal structure? Mm -hmm. And then they have these uh, mounting plates with the little, with four bushings that, you know, it, it allows for some give, you know? Yeah. And while the ride's running, you want to have that give because if it's too rigid, it's going to break. It'll crack, know? yeah. So they, they thought of everything. They yeah. thought of everything. The, the, ice, the rubber isolators, I mean, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. When you have such a huge, literally plastic structure, mm -hmm. you have to deal with heat cycles, cold cycles, you have exactly. to deal with exactly. different ride loading and yep. Yep. Be, having it be able to shift just a little bit is... Just a little bit. It, it works so perfect. Yeah. For the longevity of it and the, the just like maintenance. Because you think every time you do your bolt check, you have, you know, a bunch of bolts snapping and stuff like, none of that. Yeah. None of that. So, yeah. What are all the little covers on the bolts for? They're just to prevent, j just to keep them clean, just if you want to pull it apart. Like Got there's it. no debris, dust, whatever that builds up on the thread itself, you know? Got it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, also, while you're working around it, like I, I'm grateful for it because like when you're climbing around the ride, let's say you want to get there, you're not, you, you know, scraping your leg or your hand on the end of the, the, the threading yeah. know, that sticks out. So, you know, it protects you, it, it, you know, it protects the thread. You know. It's a little touch that goes a long way for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, and then the, the LED lights on here, there's just so many. Yeah. So right now these uh, dots are out, mm. um, but we've ordered to, to have them replaced and stuff like that. Because it's it's lighting, you know, they, they get weathered, they, mm -hmm. you know, like you said, heat in the summer, and then it goes to winter where it's below 30 degrees, you know, <laughs> yeah. they crack, you know, stuff like that. You know? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm guessing they were clear at one point too. Yes, of course, yeah. <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Wow. Uh, yeah. That's really cool. You guys are so knowledgeable and you guys have been so nice. I really appreciate everything. This is uh, well, fascinating. Well, it's not just any one person. There's a lot. Like my boss, Steve, he's not here today. Mm -hmm. But I've learned so much from that guy. So much, you know, in, in the few years that I've been here. Mm -hmm. So it's just a combination of talents and, 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 and experience Absolutely. that brings it all together, you know? Absolutely. Like before I was predominantly in the theme park, and then we had some changes and, and you know, I uh, came over here and then I learned a lot from Scott that you saw earlier, mm -hmm. Sherlock, you know, you know, they've done it for years. So there was a lot that I could learn, you know, stuff that you, you never thought of. Mm -hmm. They were able to give you insights on it. Absolutely. Is this your favorite ride to work on? Is it a pain in the butt? No, my favorite ride is actually Hades. Heck yeah. That's, that's my baby. <laughs> well, hey, we're gonna head over there next, so. Yeah. That's uh yeah that's 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 my girl right there. Absolutely. Well, I'm excited to go see that. Right. Oh yeah, all the little sensors. So we, we inspect this every day also the inside. We have to make sure um the is in here that uh, adjust the conveyor is in the green all of them. If they're not then it's all the lining so you have to adjust that and check the sensors, make sure the lights are uh, green and, and, and orange and they're focusing on each other because that's what brings the tunes up. Yeah. So they already checked this morning. We did a, a full check on it already. So cool. We're right here, we're just going over it and then go up quickly. Yeah. And we inspect the entire thing. We have to make sure that we have these um, things on it that Oh yeah. yeah. You have to look and make sure everyone is there. And just make sure that there's nothing loose inside here. Mm -hmm. or anything on the ground here. So from here also, we have some more um, that we have to check. To see there. Oh yeah. Uh, stay here to look at that one. And this side. You can see this one Yeah. Yeah, those are big conveyor belts. Oh yeah. That's only this. This mark right here. Yeah. Is here to get, keep the water from back flowing and pushes it down. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, this is all stainless and then you just run kind of over the gap. Right. Sweet. This microphone here we use to communicate with uh, the guests inside if it's stopped. We need to tell them anything at all to let them know we're coming to get them. Or yeah. To find out to, um, how many people is there, if they're safe. And the camera show you inside, entrance exit, and six different cameras from the front section here all the way to the back. Yeah, and then they're labeled like by which hatch they are and then the numbers. So if you, you can see where people are very quickly. All right, so this computer now. Maintenance mode, so I'm gonna put it on the short starting mode. Wow. Now for this, have to activate the start. And it's done. And we can't do anything with it until it's finished its rotation. It starts so easy. Yes. Yeah, it does. Dual start, sorry, dual start buttons. Yes. And then that wireless panel enabled that to your remote. remote yes. Yeah. Jeez. 
She's moving. She starts up fast. Yeah, the encoder just reads out the degrees. Oh, and the pump start? Yep. What's the highest you've seen in the number of rotations? Uh, a little bit under 1,500. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Depending on the time that we start up and the time that we close, 1,003 to 1,450. Yeah. Initiate evac. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I've never used it to do an evacuation, but um, that's good. <laughs> yes. I normally just use remote or use these. So there's a setting here that you select that can operate it without remote. Gotcha. Basically, just a coaster panel. Yeah. And this is what I'm used to. <laughs> yeah. That's a full reset button. Yeah. I All the don't power off. <laughs> Which we advise everyone that's working do not touch. Yeah, don't. definitely <laughs> mm -hmm. not. Emergency stop. Reason to press wheel or structure damage. <laughs> yes. Does that. That just like shut down as fast as possible. Because yeah. I guess you want to regulate how fast it spins, like how fast it, it starts start, and stops yeah. so you don't get vibrations and whatnot. Right. Okay, so now it, I've done five rotations and it's ready to dispatch, but the tubes are not there, so I'm going to confirm it and then I'm going to get the tubes on. So from here also, this panel, you can take the key out here when it's not running. To move the conveyor on the conveyor if you want to. Gotcha. So I can load the conveyor with the remote or unload it. Yeah, that makes sense. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, the water just kind of keeps going and then it sits there. And then every dispatch it just goes. Super cool. Probably one of the most complex water slides out there. <laughs> you can see the box that we were next to just spinning. Thanks for watching part one. Check back soon for part two. See you in the next one.